England, what have you become? What has happened to your daughters and sons? Are we ready, my pie? Yes, Father. For all have sinned. For all have sinned. For all have sinned. But we don't know how much we've sinned. Like a fish doesn't understand the concept that it is swimming in the river. It surrounds us. We were born and conceived in it, born into this fallen world. My friends, I've decided to deviate from my planned topic today because we have witnessed an abomination and we must look to God for guidance. Leviticus 20.13 If a man also lie with man as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death, and their blood shall be upon them. What can I say to you, good people? It's right here, in black and white. Do not dishonour your bodies. And above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. See the tender age at which the homosexuals prefer their conquests. We must protect your children from the lesbians, sadists, masochists and sexual deviants. And we will protect them. Mark my words. Natural. <laughs> they used to say it's natural, but they learnt a hard lesson, didn't they, friends?
because eventually the river of moral decay ran dry, just like the black in the ground, and nature had her revenge, and God spoke to us who could hear. Yet, even after all this, we love the abominations. We do not hate them. We do what is fair and right and try to help them back to the path because God cannot love them as they are. Yes, that's it. Drink from the blood of Christ. Let it purify us. Thank you, daughter. Revelations 21, 7, 8. He who overcomes will inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he will be my people. But for the cowardly, and unbelieving, and abominable, and murderers, and immoral persons, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. <coughs> which is the second death. <coughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 